welcome to the new episode of html practical in this session i am going to discuss about the four commands which is attrib command x copy command date command and the time command the attrib command is basically used to check the attribute of the file so the types of attributes are read only file archive file system file and the hidden file you can also use attrib command to set and to remove the attribute so let's see the uh, demo for the attrib command so first of all i'm going to remove i'm going to change my path and i will open fy command right and i'll check the number of files two files are there uh, oh sorry one file is there file 2 right okay so let's check the uh, attribute of this file so the attribute of this file is see there are two file but it it listed there is only one file because the dos.txt file is hidden right so first of all i am going to remove the hidden attribute to just unhide the file because it is hidden so uh, let's see how to do that attrib then use minus option to remove the attribute and use plus option to add the attribute so minus h for remove the hidden attribute to dos.txt again we'll check dir so it listed this two file dos and file 2.txt and again we'll check uh, only attrib command so there is <coughs> archive attribute uh, is set to the dos file so i am going to add attrib command and i'll make it read only file to file 2.txt let's check using attrib command so the dos file is archive file and file 2 is read only file right so by this way you can use the attrib command let's see x copy command x copy command is used to copy files and directories tree the whole tree you can copy from one drive to another drive so uh, i'll give you just the information of this command i'm not going to uh, show the demo for this command because i don't want to copy the whole uh, i mean all the files of uh, one drive to another drive right um, so uh, uh, the followings are the options right so if you want you can check the options of the x copy command for that you have to use help command and type x copy press enter you will get all the options and the details of x copy command right so uh, in this example it discuss the x copy command with slash e so e for empty sub directories that means it uh, you want to ex you uh, copy the content of drive a to d a, a drive to d drive which copy all the files and sub directories including empty directories right and slash d for date so copy the files only in drive a drive that were written on or after this date right so that is why slash d is used okay so x copy command is used to copy the tree from one drive to another drive including files and folders now the next is date and time command the date command is to check the system date and time command is to check the system time uh date and time command is also used to set system date and time as well 
there is a one option called slash t in both the commands so slash t uh, is just to display the date in uh, without asking uh, to enter the new date let's see how it works so i'm going to type date command so it gives me the current system date is 10 7 2020 and uh, it may ask me to enter the new date i don't want to set a new date to this system uh, the current date is correct so i'm not going to change i'm going to check time with slash t so it gives me the current system time without asking to end setting the date or we can say entering the date if i'm not going to use slash t so it asks me the date so you can see the difference as well so if i'll use slash t it gives me the time in to uh, in 12 hour format but if you use without slash t so it gives me the time in uh, uh, 24 hour format as well as uh, hour minutes seconds and nanoseconds format right and it asked me to enter the new date i don't want to set the time as well uh, so i'm i'll just simply press enter so that's it thanks for watching my video we'll meet soon in the next session